did that work? There was a delay before it gave you the option to hit record. Super. Um, please, can we start standing? And then that way we can kind of get the bodies warm before we come into a little bit more of a chilled out session tonight. So for those of you joining on the recording, we've had a bit of a vote and we've decided that we're all feeling the need for a little bit of love tonight, a little bit of chill. So we'll start with the feet a little bit wider than the hip width distance apart. So we'll give ourselves a little bit of space to open the soles of the feet. You might want to lift the toes, spreading the toes so that you can feel the connection all the way through the soles of the feet into the earth. Give yourselves a little bit of movement here, softening the ankles, releasing the knees, bringing the hips into the action. And you can make this action as deep, as languid as you like. Just warming up through the legs, through the hips, but keeping it all nice and gentle. We'll bring ourselves now to a more still position. It doesn't matter if there's still a gentle sway. We'll turn the palms towards the front of the room and bring the awareness to the breath. So start by noticing the breath from the tip of the nose along the nasal passages. Notice the difference when we tune into the breath in a standing position. We normally do this when we're lying down. It's a little bit harder to bring the breath into the lungs, into the belly. So deepen that inhalation, fill the lungs completely. Lengthen the exhalation and empty the lungs fully. I'm going to suggest that we allow this breath to be a little noisier so that you can feel and hear any blockages that you might have. Take a deep breath in deep breath out deep breath in through the nose and a full breath out through the mouth i'm going to switch my little microphone on because i actually don't think i'm very clear tonight take one further full deep breath in a full exhalation perhaps a noisy sigh Remember that we're remaining soft through the knees, through the hips. Although we're allowing the weight of our bones to sink into the floor, we don't want to feel as though we're leaning forward, slumping the shoulders. So as you bring your breath back to a natural, easy rhythm, focus on inhaling to draw the shoulders up and back. Exhaling to again, turn the palms forward. Inhaling now to shrug the shoulders up towards the ears. Exhaling a little control as you lower the shoulders. Breathing in as you raise the shoulders. Breathing out as you soften. One more time to create that space between the shoulder blades. This time as you exhale, roll the shoulders back and down and we'll bring the hands together into an interlock behind the lower back. So I'll turn side on so that you can see the shape. So as soon as we come into this interlock position, the body is likely to start to make a little adjustments and amendments. So rather than allowing the upper body to tip forward, mindfully draw those shoulders back, root down through the soles of the feet, engage the core. On the inhale, lift the arms away from the lower back. As you exhale, keep pressing through the backs of the hands as you draw the tummy button in, tucking the tailbone under. Inhale, squeeze a little tighter. As you exhale, keep that core engagement as you gently bring the shoulders forward to create a 90 degree angle at the hips. Inhale, lift the arms away again, a little higher. Then as you exhale, release the hands, bring the hands to rest down by your side. On the next inhalation, lift the tailbone, push the sit bones to the back of the room. Exhale to soften and release through the upper body. Inhale, lengthen through the sternum now. So imagine that you're lengthening the spine. 
exhaling to gently nod, nod the chin towards the chest. Nice bend in the knees. Inhale, widen the arms. Lift the upper body up. Exhale, drop the hands down by your side once more. On the next inhalation, we're going to take the right arm up overhead. On the exhalation, we're going to step the left foot behind the right. On the inhalation, lengthen through that right arm, ease into a gentle lean. If you don't know what to do with the left hand, just park it on the hip. Inhale, lift, come back to centre. Lower that arm down. Bring the feet back together again. Inhale, lift and lengthen through the left arm. Exhale, right foot behind the left. Inhale, lift and lengthen. Exhale to ease over to the side. Inhale to take that release a little deeper. Exhale, draw the shoulders back. Inhale, lift. Come back to centre. We'll step the feet together once more. Inhale to lift the shoulders up. Exhale to keep that action, rolling the shoulders back and down. We're turning this action into a continuous fluid movement, creating little circles with the shoulder. Now bringing the hands to rest on top of the shoulders, as though you're using your elbows to draw wide circles. We're going to keep those wide circles open, spreading through the collarbones, through the chest, drawing the shoulder blades together as we draw the elbows back and down. One more full rotation. Release the hands from the shoulders. Bring the hands again to that interlock behind the lower back. Draw the shoulder blades together, engage the core. Inhale to lift the arms away from the lower back. Exhale, engage the core. Inhale, extend the chest forward. Exhale, draw the hands a little further away. Inhale, push through the sit bones, extend through the sternum. Exhale, lift the hands a little higher again. On the next out breath, soften the hands by your side. Inhale to lift the arms up overhead. Bring the hands to an interlock overhead here. Turn the palms inside out, pressing up towards the ceiling, keeping the shoulders released back and down. On the next exhalation, lift and ease over to the right hand side. So this time the feet are positioned next to one another. We stepped one foot behind when we did this stretch before. Let's just pause here for a moment to get the technique nice and right here. So ears between the upper arms, that might mean that you're drawing the shoulders back a little more. Inhale to create more length through the side. Exhale to ease a little more deeply into the stretch. Inhale back to centre. Exhale, start that release over to the opposite side. So take a moment to adjust, bringing the ears between the upper arms, pressing through the palms of the hands, exhaling to deepen into this curve. Then inhale to lift, come back to centre. Bring both hands down by your side. Inhale, squeeze the shoulders up towards the ears. On the exhale, a shrug now. <sighs> inhale, squeeze the shoulders up. Exhale, a shrug. <sighs> Lift both arms up overhead. We're going to start by drawing three circles forward just with the right hand. So creating circles three, two and one. Transition to the left arm, three, two and one. Super. Let's bring right arm forward as we take left arm back. So you might wanna start drawing the right arm forward first then bringing the left arm back. This ultimately starts to look like you're swimming the channel with a very dodgy crawl. For some of us, a very dodgy backstroke. Now that your brain is starting to figure it out, let's change, <laughs> just to keep it fresh. So left arm comes forward, right arm goes back. I'm actually better if I don't look. Shut your eyes, see if that makes a difference. 
Antonio, you're struggling there with your little peaked ceiling. That can't be easy. Then lift both arms overhead. As you exhale, bring the hands down by your side, bend the knees and just hang. So you're hanging in a nice relaxed chair pose. So we'll just let the arms hang forward and back. So we're keeping the elbows soft. Beautiful. Then inhale, lift the arms to shoulder height, press through the fingertips, press back through the sit bones. On your exhale, engaging the core. Then we'll just keep to that nice steady breath formation. So every out breath, we're engaging the core. Every in breath, reminding ourselves to lengthen, pressing through the fingertips, pushing through the sit bones. Let's keep this nice, engaged core. On the next inhalation, just breathe the hands into an Anjali Mudra towards heart. Beautiful. On an inhale, lengthen up. So bring that Anjali Mudra overhead, lengthen through the legs without locking the knees. As you exhale, we're going to bring the elbows to the outside of the right knee. A little twist here. Then inhale, lift up. Exhale, a little twist. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, deepen into that twist. Inhale, lift up. Try to bring the elbows into a straight line. Inhale, lift up. This time on the exhale, bring the left hand towards the floor, the right hand up towards the ceiling, open through the chest. Pause for a moment. Then inhale, lift both arms up. Exhale, twist to the opposite side. Inhale, lift up. Exhale back to that first twist. Inhale, lift up. Exhale. Lift again back to centre. Bring your hands back to an Anjali Mudra in front of heart. And take a moment here to just close the eyes. Focus on your breath here. So that little sequence was intended to make you warm. You might notice your heart rate is a little faster. Let's just bring awareness to the breath. Keep the eyes closed. As you turn the head, imagining that you're drawing your gaze over the right shoulder, underside of the chin parallel to the shoulder. Try to lead with the nose rather than the chin. So we're not pushing the chin up. As your next exhale, take your gaze through center. Keep your eyes closed and turn your head over the opposite shoulder. Again, we're pausing there for a moment. Exhaling to come back to centre. Inhale, re-lengthen, pushing into the soles of the feet, realigning the back of the head with the heels. Keep your eyes closed as you exhale. Tip the right ear down towards the right shoulder. So just opening into the neck, releasing any tension here. Inhale back to centre. Exhale, squeeze to the opposite side. Inhale again back to centre. Take a moment to blink the eyes open. We'll widen the arms. We want the wrists as high as the shoulders, bringing the fingertips in towards the palms, the thumbs up. Squeeze the shoulder blades together. Push down into the soles of the feet. I like to imagine here that I'm shortening the space between the kneecaps and the hips. So we're engaging the muscles down the front of the thigh, lengthening the hamstrings, avoiding locking out the knees, and focusing on that lovely warmth 
and space created over the chest, over the collarbones. Beautiful. Now open the fingertips. Give the fingers a little wiggle here. Start with the right wrist as you draw three circles. With the left wrist as you draw three circles. Let's do both wrists together, but we'll take the circles back instead of forward. Beautiful. And now we'll come forward instead of back. Oh, clickety click. Beautiful. Now bring your hands, right hand on top of left. I'm going to do it side on so that you can see. So I've kind of got a little bit of a gap between um, the bottom of the right hand and the back of the left hand. And we're just going to switch the arms over. So start nice and slowly, easily. Try not to hold your breath as we start to bring up the speed. So you're just switching one hand on top of the other. And then we're just working on the speed. And just because I'm really picky and bossy, I'm going to remind you to check in in your pelvic bowl. So there's a little bit of this going on. Let's press the thighs back, tuck the tailbone under. You can still be focusing on your good posture whilst you're working on those bingo wings and warming up the arms. We're getting hot. Some of you look like you're clapping like seals. <laughs> it's only because your hands are going off the camera. Four, three, Two and a half, call it two, I've lost my count, let's make it one, and relax. Oh. <laughs> you can thank me for it later. Squeeze the shoulders up towards the ears nice and gently, roll the shoulders back and down. Just keep those gentle circles again. Beautiful. Take the feet a tiny bit wider apart. So shoulder width, for me, a little bit wider. Soften through the knees. Let's come again into that 90 degree angle. It will feel less intense on the back of the legs because we've taken that little bit of extra uh, width. We're just hanging here at a 90 degree angle, noticing that little bit of an extra stretch happening to the hamstrings, to the backs of the calves. Changing the arm position now to wrap the hands around the elbows. As you exhale, bring the forearms parallel to the floor. So it just feels as though you are allowing the weight of the upper body to draw you towards the mat. But we know that curvature in the spine doesn't really help with breathing. It restricts the airflow to the belly. So let's focus on an inhale to lift the tailbone. On an exhale, we're sinking those forearms a little deeper. Inhaling to widen through the collarbones, sensing that diagonal line from the back of the head to the tailbone. Then on the next out breath, tucking the chin towards the chest, feeling your forehead parallel to the floor. Remain nice and soft in the knees as you slowly start to transition the body weight over one leg, then the other. So we're gently bending the knees. Then easing from one side to the other. Just creating a little space in the lower back because the legs are a little wider. There's no tension on the hips. Back of the neck should be nice and released. Hang again in centre once more. Bring the palms of the hands towards the floor. If your fingertips to the floor, that's absolutely fine. If you can get your palms down, then nice and release into that. Tuck the chin under. Hang again for a moment in centre. Inhale to lift the tailbone, draw the shoulder blades together. I'm feeling a little bit of a shake in the back of the leg, so that tells me that we're doing it right. And because we've been upside down for a while, we'll take our time. The head is always the last thing to come up. So bring the hands onto the thighs, keep looking at the floor. 
push the palms into the thighs as you start to lift the upper body. Keep looking down at the floor for now. And when you feel that you're in a fully stood up position, lift the chin and step the feet together. Lovely. Do you feel like you're ready to lie down now? <laughs> I think you were all ready to lie down like from minute one. <laughs> but I've got you warm and that was my main plan. So come down onto the floor, please. Let's start with the knees bent so we won't go straight into Shavasana mode. Still need to decide what Shavasana I'm going to do for you. So we're going to lie on our backs with the knees bent to begin with. Take the arms out to the side. So we've opened up through the chest. We've created a little more space through the back of the shoulder. So let's lean into that. Relax into the flats of the shoulder blades, palms turned upwards. Position the feet as wide as the edges of your mat. So taking your feet apart, roll the knees over to the right side. Let that left knee become heavy enough that you can feel a little bit of lift under the back of the left hip. A big opening through the front of the left hip. Visualize the breath traveling from fingertip to fingertip as you inhale. As you exhale, transition the weight of the knees to the opposite side. Hang around there for a moment. Again, there'll be a little bit of resistance to begin with. That space just above the lower back is kind of saying, hang on, where are you going? Just work with the breath to release that. Inhale, bring the knees back to centre. As you exhale, take the knees to the right again, take the head to the left. There's a much easier release now through the front of the hip. This is not the hip joint, this is the hip flexor. A little bit into the lower back. Inhale, bring the head and the knees back to centre. Exhale to swing the knees to the left, bring the head to the right. Every out breath, you want to feel heavier. You want to feel the flats of the shoulder blades connect to the floor. On the next out breath, engage the core. On the inhale, support the weight of the knees back to centre. Bring the head back to centre. Hug the right knee in, placing the hands either to the shin or the back of the thigh, whatever is comfortable for you. Try not to lift the shoulders from the floor as you squeeze the knee a little tighter. Reposition the hands to the back of the thigh if it was on the shin. Let's try to lengthen through that leg. So it doesn't matter if there's a little softness in the knee. Let's inhale to point, exhale to flex. Inhale to point, exhale to flex. Press a little more keenly through the heel. Let's aim for a diagonal line. Again, we're avoiding lifting the bottom from the floor. Exhaling now to hug that thigh a little closer to the chest without giving in too much to that knee bending. Keep pressing through the heel. On the out breath, bend the knee again. Replace that right foot to the floor. On the next exhalation, hug the left knee in. So your choice, whether you're comfortable behind the thigh and top of the shin, just creating a little opening through the back of the hip. Reposition the hands behind the thigh, come towards that straight line. So the intention here is to get the sole of the foot parallel to the ceiling, pressing through the heel. Try not to lift the shoulders as you support the leg. On the out breath, hug that thigh a little closer. On the in breath, push a little more keenly through the heel. Inhale to point, exhale to flex. Inhale to point, come back to flexion, pushing again through the heel. Then on the exhale, hug that left knee in, 
replace that foot to the floor. So my aim is to please. I will invite you to get yourself comfortable in a Shavasana position. Some of you may prefer to pop something under your knees to support any lower back discomfort. You can always continue with your knees bent. You might want to pop on some socks, a blanket. And as you're getting yourself comfortable, I shall decide which one we're having. So as you start to release and relax into this more comfortable position, remind yourself to unclench the jaw, to relax the tongue in the well of the mouth, to soften the cheeks and the chin. Bring your awareness again to the breath. Invite the breath to slow down. Feel the length of your body supported, the weight of your bones released to invite a deeper state of relaxation. If you've chosen to extend the legs, perhaps separate your legs a little further apart, adjusting the distance until the hip joints relax. Draw the shoulder blades down and away from the ears, sliding them towards one another until you can feel them resting flat against the floor beneath you. With your breath, start to feel the weight of your upper body resting against the flats of the shoulder blades. Feeling the space at the side of your spine release. Then bring your left hand to your heart. Place your right hand onto your solar plexus, so just above the navel, just underneath the ribcage there. Relax the hands and the fingers. And start to tune into the natural flow of your breath. Notice the belly rise on the inhale, soften on the exhale. And as you tune into the breath, continue to make subtle adjustments to the body to release any tension or anxiety that you may unwittingly be holding on to. Gently lengthen your lower back, sliding the buttocks in the direction of the tailbone down towards the heels. Allow the back to retain a natural arch. We don't want this arch to feel exaggerated or constricted. When you feel that you have achieved a position that will offer you zero desire for movement, close your eyes, assuming you haven't already done so. Gently and slowly turn your head from one side to the other. Releasing the neck releasing the shoulders. Then bringing the head back to centre. 
resting the weight through the back of your head into the floor. Notice that connection through the flats of the shoulder blades and through the back of the hips. Bring your awareness again to the gentle rhythm of your breath. Mindfully step into that space. An awareness of deepening the inhalation, lengthening the exhalation to expand, to widen, to sit within your own energy. To sit within the power of your intention. The seat of your self-love. Let go of any negative thought. Focus on a deep, nourishing breath in. And as you exhale, visualize any negative energy leaving your body. Take a deep, nourishing breath in. And as you exhale, release any limiting beliefs you may be holding on to. Take a deep, nourishing breath in and exhale your inner critic. You are enough. You are more than enough. Feel that sense of knowing rest as a smile at your lips. Continue this connection with deep, meaningful breath. Focus on the light and open your heart to that deep, nourishing breath in. Exhale fully now to let go of anything that doesn't serve you. Breathe deeply unconditionally. Push away anything less than 100% pure love and light. Draw that love and light that surrounds you deep into your heart centre. Feel yourself soften here, almost as though your heart is smiling. Give yourself permission to open here to open your heart, to rest here in this space and to acknowledge you are enough. You are more than enough. Now slide your left hand up to rest on the right upper arm. Take your right hand to the side of your waist. Hold yourself here. Feel the strength, the warmth and the unconditional love in this simple gesture of holding yourself tight. Rather than feeling bound by your arms, breathe into this embrace. Expand and widen into this rare moment of self-compassion. Permit yourself to give love, to receive love, and to know that you are more than enough. Take a deep breath in. And when you feel ready, release your arms, allow them to rest by your side. 
Let's take the arms a little wider from the body with the palms turned up in a gesture of being ready to receive deep relaxation. Take a moment here to survey your body. Again, making any adjustments needed. Don't ignore the little details, the bunched up portion of clothing that pushes against your body or a lopsided pillow can easily distract you. Adjust, make yourself comfortable and notice when parts of your body are asking for attention they're not completely at ease and they will continue to disturb your central nervous system. Now bring your full attention back to your breath. Focusing on the sensations of the breath. Inhale through your nose. Be aware of the breath as it fills your lungs. Notice your abdomen rising. Without pause, begin the exhalation, continuing to breathe through your nose while allowing the abdomen to fall naturally as air leaves your lungs. Relax and allow the rhythmic nature of the breath to take over as inhalation and exhalation flow effortlessly into one another. In order to fully submit to Shavasana, seed your intention, enter it methodically, and to learn to recognize the cues that signal relaxation in both your body and your mind. Take a few moments here to observe those cues. Now the back of the body will begin to feel a gentle warmth as it rests against the floor. Allow this sensation of warmth to rise through the front of the body. Soften the face, the front of the neck and throat. Soften the chest, tops of the shoulders. Soften your arms all the way to the tips of your fingers. Relax the ribcage and the area of your heart. Feel the abdomen soften as it rises and falls with the breath. Allow the tops of the thighs to soften. Feel your relaxed attention flow all the way down to the tips of the toes. Then move this relaxed attention all the way back up to the crown of the head. As the muscles relax, the nerve impulses travelling to and from them decrease. The brain calms down. A message of relaxation spreads through the entire nervous system. And gradually the tensions that have crept into your body and your mind can release.
you'll begin to notice that distracting or stressful thoughts are increasingly unimportant. They simply fall away. You will be more alert to the mental processes that disturb your relaxation. As you recognise how these thought patterns affect your body, you can enable yourself to change, to empower your body's natural healing properties. If any thoughts come in to disturb you, Simply slide them to one side, put a pin in them, an intention to return to any distraction later. You have gifted yourself these rare few moments of quiet and calm. So stay here in that moment. Now you're in a calm state. Envision planet Earth above your head, orbiting in space. Picture it in your mind or just know it. See the planet in all its glory as it shimmers and pulses with energy. Earth is known as the blue planet. Now see the planet shimmer and pulse with the colour blue. Hold that image in your mind and see the edges of the planet soften and radiate outwards towards the universe. Now picture a blue beam of light reach out from the planet and shine down on you. Feel the energy of the planet surround your body in a perfect blue light. Feel this energy enrobe you in a protective blue cloak. Sit in this glow for a few moments of quiet contemplation. Hold your awareness. Feel that gentle blue, blue glow. When you're ready, see or feel that beam of light rise back up toward the planet. Know that blue is the colour ray of Archangel Michael, sent to protect us whenever we feel the need to be safe and protected. We can pull on this blue cloak of protection. Blue is also associated with water. Consider the moon's influence on the tides. Remind yourself that the human body is made up of 60% water. And therefore, as we head towards the full flower moon, 
we may literally start to feel the gravitational pull of the moon within our water-based bodies. Now to deepen our practice, I invite you to either welcome in or join along as I chant the universal OM. Remember that you're all on mute. We're in a safe and protected space. So feel free to join in with the chant. Or if you prefer, just feel the sound of my voice vibrate and resonate within your body. I will continue to repeat this chant for as long as feels necessary. Shanti. Observe the silence, the contrast.
start to pay closer attention to the sound closest to you. To the steady sound of your breath. To the pulsing of your heart. Deepen the breath again. And start to exhale a little more noisily. Let that out breath become a little more rugged. Take a further deep breath in. Release an audible sigh. Start to become aware again of the weight of your body rested against the space beneath you. Notice the sensation of your clothing against your skin. Feel the Kool-Aid in the room against your face, your hands, your feet. If you drifted off at any time during the Shavasana, know that the deepest part of you has been listening and that you have received a gift of deep relaxation, mindful peace and quiet for the mind, deep rest for your flight or fight. Give you a few moments now to start to gently rouse yourself. Returning sensation. Perhaps noticing the arms, the legs feel heavy. Wiggling fingers and toes. Wiggling the jaw and the nose. Perhaps a long stretch to return to a sensation of feeling wide awake. Hugging the knees to the chest. Reminding yourself that you are enough. You are more than enough. Then taking your time Rolling to one side, preparing to bring yourself back to a comfortable seated position. Now I'm going to share with you something that I always find really interesting after we've done a really deep Shavasana. Because technically when you go into deep rest, your body becomes colder. Technically, everything slows down, your heart rate slows down. But I love to see all your faces when you sit back up again because you're all flushed. <laughs> so you've actually had a nice little injection of love juice around your body, which is lovely. I think we might have lost Nicola. Oh, the head's just raised up there. Good, thank you. If we're all happy to, let's bring our hands to an Anjali Mudra. Touch to the head for kind thoughts, to the lips for kind words, and to the heart for kind intentions. The light in me honours the light in you. Namaste.
just stop the recording.